Well, this is a piece of shit. As you guys know on this channel, I actually quite like sharks. Um, I actually do have a Shark NV801 UK something something, which is a mains powered duo clean lift away machine. And I use that quite frequently and it's a really good cleaner. I would say on it, the filtration is not fantastic. The single cyclone machines never are really. And it relies quite a lot on its pre-motor filter to catch a lot of dust. But you can kind of forgive it for that because it's really powerful anyway. And you can use it and use it and use it for months. You don't have to clean the filter all the time. And it just keeps going and it's actually really good. So when my friend Haley said, I've got this shark um, that I don't want anymore. It's a cordless one. Do you want to buy it? I said, yeah, okay, sure. Um, because, you know, as I say, qu quite like sharks, quite happy with my NV801. And then I got this from her and I, I, I was like, oh, oh God, I'm like almost lost for words really. Just how horrifically bad this cleaner is. I am so disappointed in it. Just unbelievably so. Now you can't help but compare it to a um, Dyson V8. Now I've got a V8. I use the V8 a lot and it's fantastic. It really is fantastic. As a, a cordless portable vacuum cleaner, the V8 is just awesome because it does everything so well. The, the suction, the airflow, um, the weight of the machine, the filtration, uh, the just the power of it is really good and it does a great job so to get this and be so disappointed by it it was a real shock i actually struggled to to find anything good to say about this particular machine and i better tell you the model number of it hadn't i it's uh, it's upside down of course it's an if 260 uk th and it's the uh, cordless lithium ion um shark machine with the flexology nonsense which barely works you've got to like, do that oh, i just can't believe how dull that is and yeah there you go that's it in its upright mode uh, oh yeah dreadful absolutely dreadful the first thing is it is so heavy guys this is so heavy the dyson is lovely and light but this my god you could actually use it as a workout tool yeah build those muscles whoa so that's the first problem with it. Uh, <laughs> really, the main problem, the main problem, the main issue, and it is a massive, it is a massive issue, is the dreadful filtration and bagless cy cyclonic system on it. So I used this the other day to, to clean behind my sofa. Now. Don't judge me, but I hadn't cleaned behind the sofa for ages, a long time. And I just put, kept, kept putting stuff behind there, put stuff behind the chair, and it had all piled up. I thought, okay, I really should clean that out because the cat goes behind there and she hides behind there and she, she's scratching away and rolling around on the carpet. So there's cat hair everywhere. I thought to myself, what better machine to use to quickly clean that up than this shark? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, um, I kind of need to bring you down actually so, so I can show you. The results of what's happened to this machine are <sighs> dreadful. Come and have a look. Now, bearing in mind, I used it once. I just used it once just to clean behind the sofa. And I think you can see there, just from that view, what's happened. If I open this up like that, so you can see inside, look, look what's happened to it. It's just ridiculous. All the dirt has just got caught around the filter. There's, there's a filter here somewhere, a few bits of paper and a hole to go through to the bin. And it's just completely stuffed up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a metal mesh here. And you, you can take this filter out to clean the machine. So that just completely stuffed up. I'm going to close it. I'm going to show you here on the back. I'm going to turn it on. I mean, you can hear that it's just... It's 
like virtually nothing. There's there's hardly any airflow. Um, the suction is is reasonable, I suppose, for a, a cordless machine. But prior to doing that, prior to using it to clean behind the sofa, I took it all apart and I cleaned it all out and I cleaned the filters. And I just want to show you what a dreadful state the filters are in after one use. Check this out. You take the top off here and you look at it. Look at it. Look at the dust that's just caked on the inside. So this was all clean. This this was completely clean. And look, there's just a great big ridge of dust there. You can see it. I flick it. I flick it off. If I take this filter out. Look, utterly caked in dust. And under here, we have the most ridiculous, tiny little filter. This tiny, tiny little filter here that does all the work. So this is the pit that does all the work and it's just completely stuffed up. It's covered with dust um, and there's just no airflow now. I mean, ugh. this was not cheap. I mean, I I got it cheap because I took a risk on it and I, I said to Hayley, I'll give you 20 quid for it because I thought, well, there might be something really badly wrong with it. Um, but yeah, even for £20, it's just so disappointing. So, so disappointing. I'll turn it on again. That's actually slightly better than it was because I moved some, some of the dirt away from the cone filter. Um, and we have this little exhaust filter here as well. It's just under this panel. So I'm guessing this is the HEPA filter. Um, and this is not, I mean, it's, it just stinks of dog. haley has got a dog and it's just absolutely stinking. And look, you can see the dust here. Look, it just comes through the machine and it's rubbish. It's just absolute rubbish. So disappointing. I had real high hopes for this and those hopes were just utterly dashed. Just utterly, utterly dashed against the rocks. What a shame. Now that you're back over there, I can show you what's happened to the duo clean as well. This is a very common problem on these sharks. I'm just going to bring this up like this. Standard duo clean head, obviously battery powered. But I just want you to look and see what's happened to that. Look at the state of it. It's just utterly covered with hair. Just all wrapped around the brush roll. Just completely covered. And you can see all the hair that's got caught behind this duo clean roller as well and this is just what happens to them they just do this all the time um now granted and in fairness it is not a um zero m machine um it, it, it does not have anti anti hair wrap so you can kind of forgive it a little bit for that but still how can you how can you justify getting into that kind of situation it's just shocking, just utterly, utterly shocking. This is see it all here. Um, I'll do another video on this about how to how to do maintenance on your cordless duo clean head, because I think that would be quite useful. One of the most popular videos I've ever made is actually how to change the duo clean brushes in a duo clean head. But this is a slightly different head to what I did previously, so I'll show you how to do this as well. But everything just gets caught in it. Look, there's a of plastic that's just been caught in there it's oh it's dreadful so dis disappointing so so disappointing um it's kind of like really put me off sharks uh i i used to i i used to recommend sharks because of my 801 which is such a brilliant machine but this is just utterly dreadful utterly dreadful such a shame um, I think what I might do is sort of give it a service um, and then we'll revisit it and maybe use it again. I will say on the positive side, it it feels like a quality appliance. It, it really does feel good. I mean, the plastics are, are excellent. They're excellent plastics. And I do like the control system here on the top as well, where you can, um, it won't do it now because the head's not plugged in, but you can, you can change the speed. And even on full power, there's not a lot of airflow there. You probably, you, uh, you're all probably thinking, well, you're not using it on full power, but you shouldn't really have to use it on full power. It shouldn't 
be that bad on standard power. And I do think it is because I just moved some of the stuff away from the internal cyclone filter there, which is why it's uh, sucking a bit more. But you can see all the dust. You can see all the dust in this bit here. You can see the dust that's actually come through the machine and has been caught by the um, uh, exhaust filter. Uh, you know, this wasn't cheap. This is about £200. It was probably at least £200. And I genuinely don't think that it's worth that kind of money. If you're going to spend £200 on a cordless vacuum cleaner, buy a Dyson cordless. Now, I know people will say, <laughs> trust me, I've got a, a V8 animal. That is a thousand times better than this piece of rubbish. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. We will revisit this machine at some point. Uh, it would be really interesting to hear your thoughts on this. So if you'd like to, to leave me a comment below, that would be appreciated. What do you think? Do you think the Shark is better than the Dyson? Um, or do you agree with me to say that the Dyson is better than the Shark? I really would love to hear from you on this subject. So before you go, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe as well because it always helps me out nice to get some some uh, some likes and some subs that's really cool um, but until the next video i'll see you guys soon take care bye